So last video I left it off basically coming to the conclusion of the war against the Decron, hopefully. I'll be returning to that very shortly, but there's a couple of things I wanted to mention at the start of this video. It's actually been a while since I uploaded to YouTube last, it's going to be 6 or 7 days by the time this video comes out. I wasn't uh, intending that to be the case at all. Basically this past week I haven't had any time to record due to various issues, being ill again and uh, other things. Not even having like the odd half an hour or hour to record, let alone four or five hours, which I would much prefer. So it's been really, really frustrating, frankly. Especially since there's actually a new DLC which came out this week. Paradox is kind enough to actually provide me with a copy. And I was intending on uh, making a feature video just to uh, let you know what was in the DLC. But uh, yeah, I was too ill to record during those days so uh, yeah that was very frustrating. I thought at the start of this video though I would uh, show a bit of the new DLC which has come out the Humanoids DLC. Uh, the game has actually been updated to patch 1.9 as well now which is a few small bug fixes. The next major patch is going to be 2.0 the Cherry update. But um, yeah, at the start of this video, I thought, uh, well, let's uh, actually show some of the features in the Humanoid DLC because I will actually be able to show some of them during the end of this Let's Play. So arguably the main feature of the new Humanoids DLC is the 10 new portraits added to the game, specifically, of course, for the Humanoids. And we can see them here. The first five actually existed within the game already and you don't have to pay for them or anything now. Uh, they're still free, but uh, the rest you need the Humanoids DLC for. Unlike uh, the first portrait style DLC, which was the Plantoid DLC, uh, the Humanoid DLC actually adds a few new features on top of the portraits and the uh, new ship appearance which has uh, also been added in both of those DLCs and I'll be coming to that shortly. Uh, yeah and I'll also be coming to yeah those other new features uh, which is going to be I'll be able to use during the end of this let's play uh, future let's plays. Uh, but uh, yeah the 10 new portraits let's have a look at this guy first of all so he's a devilish type guy definitely and uh, we've got a dwarf or a squat. We've seen this guy already. Uh, they happen to have be a uh, new default empire found within the game. They are the Vor Technocracy and they've got a bit of a, bit of a backstory. So you can play as those guys should you wish. Uh, the other portraits have got an assortment of uh, peculiar looking humanoids. Uh, we've got a couple of old classics. A dwarf and what looks to be an orc and even a cyclops and all of these can be modified somewhat you've got different color variants uh, no extra phenotype sally uh, no hairstyle for him but some of them i think do have hairstyles uh, this guy for instance you can change his beard he doesn't actually have a color variant for that one they all have different clothes, of course. And yeah, they can be all modified a little bit at least. Uh, the ship appearance. I'm not going to show all of the new humanoid ships within this video, but I might do in a future video, should you wish. I definitely will uh, in a future Let's Play. I'll use uh, the humanoids next time around, definitely. So basically, it's all new ships, new ship for each of the ship types, and they all have their own new components, which uh, Paradox has previously mentioned. It's very time resource of making all of those uh, for whatever reason. But it's uh, yeah, great that we've got a new ship type, definitely. Uh, other than portraits and ships, uh, we've got something that's pretty minor. It's a new city appearance. I think that's new. New humanoid city. Uh, what's much more interesting though is the fact that they've added new voices. So we've got three new voices added to the game. Uh, previously, the voices were a feature added in Synthetic Dawn, of course, and uh, yeah, they're really a great new addition. So uh, having more is uh, definitely uh, better still. 
So we've got now the soldier voice. Hull integrity failing, decompression imminent. It's been an honor, Captain. Attention on deck! So I think they're much better than the old militarists. I'll probably be using them whenever I play militarists in future rather than that one. That was probably only one which is a bit dodgy previously out of the voices in my opinion. We've got the diplomat. Hyperdrive primed, all systems ready. Now, let's see what's out there. Hyperdrive primed, knowledge, discovery, compassion, integrity, and hot tea. And last but not least, we've got the technocrats. The blind masses must be led down the path of reason. The laws of science govern all. Which is a uh, very sinister sounding in nature, definitely. I think that's the voice to go along with the new default uh, empire here, the Vor Technocracy. So you definitely want to use that if you happen to be playing those guys. And uh, yeah, quite a few other evil empires, I would imagine, I would uh, quite want to use that voice with also. Uh, there's a few new audio tracks actually added to the game as well, which I'll be uh, clicking on later when we get back to the Let's Play uh, to listen to those. I'm not sure if they're remixes or completely new, actually. I don't know about that. But uh, yeah, that's about as much as I can show you from this screen. At this point then, let's get back to the Let's Play. So the next 10 or 15 minutes or so is actually... Uh, part of a video I recorded about a week ago. I basically recorded half a video and uh, yeah, it stopped and then wasn't able to record until now. So after that, 10-15 uh, minutes is up, then uh, yeah, I'll be able to start using the new voices and I'll listen to some of those new audio tracks. Six, seven, eight, nine, and I need to destroy that still. Okay, we're nearly there. Um, where is my uh, this fleet? I don't think I'm going to invade anything more over here because I want to make it more difficult for them to do it. Uh, I want to peace out pretty soon. I'm going to take one back here or something. Now we're peace out. That should be enough. So let's. Back all. Okay. Let's bring these back. Uh, should we go over to there? For that fleet. Don't want to go there because of that. It's possible those guys could clear one of that cron, which uh, could be an issue as well, actually, and really thought too much about that previously. It may have even been an idea for me to ask them to join in on this war and just giving them one territory to prevent them from declaring war for, t for 10 years. Mobo 6 habitat complete. Uh, that's great. That means I can colonize it of course. So let's get Mobo making a colony ship, which maybe I should have done before, but uh, not a big issue. Uh, let's get yeah, to that one still. Okay. So, I think they might be free actually to uh, colonize the habitats once you've initially made them. Yeah, it's on zero. Where's that to? It's in their territory, which I can't colonize, of course. I could lay off and make in ships for a little while just to get more energy because, of course, I am spending maintenance complete. on them. Um, depends how quickly I want to terraform, really. What I really want is to get these to the inferior point once on fleet power at least. Once they, well, Aruxu are already, that's amazing. Yeah, once I can do that, I can uh, attack them without fearing anything, basically, uh, for certain. Right. Let's go and upgrade that. 
Probably should save at another 5k. Construction actually, complete. Actually, for those. I really should spend a thousand influence in there soon. It looks as if it might not be making new buildings here. Maybe or not many. Based on the fact that it's got a lot of minerals now. That one has as well, actually. Uh, right, mining station. I could have it make. Well, if you look in the sectors, there are options here for military stations and the like, but that's just going to cost me more maintenance. I don't think there's a good reason to stick those on just to give them something to spend their minerals on. Okay, there's a bit of energy over there which I went to grab. Let's bring that back to base. Construction complete. Okay. System survey complete. Right. Construction complete. You give a level. Anomalous surface variable detected. Five percent, let's go for it. Ah, oh, well, I should have like a separate anomaly scientist doing that, like the survey ones. Survey, but can't be bothered at this stage. Um, let's, let's upgrade some spaceports if I can. I think I've done most of them now, actually. Hostile fleet assets engage. Okay. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get a thousand naval capacity with every spaceport upgraded. Probably not, but uh, that's pretty good still. Right, so where are we here? Ooh, that's not great. Looks like I've lost a destroyer I was making. Technological acquisition successful. Okay, we have the Giga Cannon, which is a special spine weapon, I think, for battleships. Huge amount of damage to shields and armor. Right, so what next? Right, that's going to cost energy at the moment, which I need. Nothing else good there. Let's pick up the Dragon scale armor which is gonna take quite a while not crazy long though to be honest right, let's have a look at the ship designer then so spinal mount bow bow that's there okay yeah let's uh, use this then shall we okay Did I have a two armor here or a shield? Probably two armor. Which we're gonna have to change dragon skill, hopefully. Soon. Uh, right, let's save that then. So this has tracking a zero, so that's gonna be uh, a bit iffy, but it's actually the missiles aren't much better. But against big ships, this will absolutely wreck them. Okay. So, I need to get them to upgrade in a bit. As... Yeah, let's cancel those. Make the ones a new one. Okay. Right. Alert. Fleet unit offline. That was uh, me losing the destroyer, which I couldn't really care less about. Uh, right, that's about to come in to destroy the outpost, then we'll take that. Construction complete. Signs of battle. Uh, great, let's do that. 
later. Alright. Oh, there's one of those there. What's my other fleet? Right, it coming back. Length of war should be going in my favour, so might not need to take another place action. Ship augmentations completed. Okay. Colony ship is finished. Let's get colonizing. Now we've already colonized this system of course, so I won't add to my core amount. Let's have it there, even doesn't really matter where you stick these on the habitats because they don't have adjacency, I believe. Right, I think I've got one more of those being made. Um, yeah, so let's save that for another 5k. I'll make another one there. Okay. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Okay. Uh, there's a couple of debris in one or two places, I think. Certainly there. Let's track it on that. Where's this to? Right, I'm not going to be able to... Uh, get that one. Um, it's not a big priority though, is it really? So, where's my number one fleet to? Right, it's about to come in. Ooh, where's my other army to? I probably left it somewhere. Um, this one has come down to there. Right. that there a second and control two. Ah, it does have a military base. Um, you know what? Let's no, I'm not gonna attack those. Let's actually go and uh, upgrade that fleet. And the army there can come back here. I'll let uh, this one siege that one down and that one can end the war. Planetary settlement procedure initiated. Okay. So I'm basically hoping that they're still gonna be around in ten years' time, then I can declare war again and take whatever they have left. Uh, right, let's make another habitat. Let's go for this molten world, that'd be a nice view for them. Habitat display windows. Right, and back down here. Construction complete. Okay, that's done. I thought robots would appreciate the view though. I should probably try and time that to do it literally just before it's capped, but uh, yeah, remembering to do it at the System right time might be an issue. Alright, a couple of surveys. Right. Hostile orbital nexus engaged. Get them in. Okay. Ah, 
well, looks like I don't actually need to invade. So, length of war kicked in. Right, is there any reason to prolong this war now? To be honest, I don't think there is. So, let's... Yeah, I think I've added everything. Apart from that, which I can no longer add. Let's send the mans. And I believe that is a back to peace. So I have a bit of an issue having just taken eight extra planets. I'm going to have to muck around with my sector certainly. There's a lone Decron uh, world up there. But uh, looks like, yeah, I've got half the world there I can colonize, half the world there I can colonize. Brilliant. Both of those are within my territory. And that is, of course, okay, that looked like it worked pretty damn well. So that's eight planets taken and an extra five I can colonize. So that's uh, 13. That will bring me up to. And... Yeah, I just colonized another one recently, so that's uh, up to 49, 5 to colonize, 54. Uh, a bit to go still, but uh, that's certainly in the right direction. Okay, what I'm going to do is take, uh, well, <laughs> at least a few minutes out to uh, reorganize things here. Then, after that, I might uh, see if there's an opportunity to declare war on someone else. Or, if there isn't, we might have to wait a little while for uh, another war against the Decron or until an opportunity comes along. Okay, back to the present. So, basically, this is the state of affairs after restructuring my empire after the end of the Decron War. And, uh, yeah, I'm now recording uh, after the Humanoids DLC has come out and, uh, yeah, after the intro at the start of the video. Uh, right, so, uh, first things first, I've selected uh, the Technocrat voice, so we're going to be hearing that for at least a bit, and I'll change to those other ones soon as well. Uh, the three new audio tracks, I believe, happen to be those three here. So let's start with uh, Towards Utopia Nova Flare, I think. Uh, or maybe we'll do that one, because that one might be a remix of that, I'm guessing. Yeah, so... Try and do all of those three coming up. So, as you can see, things are looking a bit different. And I actually did all the uh, work on restructuring things here about a week ago. So I'm uh, trying to remember what exactly I did. Now, I, I believe I did have plans to actually get rid of this sector up here. At some stage but I changed my mind so this uh, sector which is the outward rim sector has actually grown in size I had to uh, find plants to uh, turn over the sectors of course because I was over my core amount I think it was uh, at 16 so there was four within a sector I've added that uh, what else have I added I've added barbon uh, Ke Bell Rye and a Sticky, is that all of it? Yeah, just about. Uh, so we've got eight in there now. Far Fallen is only down to one. I think I hired some leaders and sacked the odd one here, so I uh, can't remember exactly what it was now. But uh, yeah, this is the current state of things. So I believe, yeah. Probably what I should do with man is actually get rid uh, with for far fallen sector. I should get rid of it at some point, but it uh, does have resources in. I'm gonna keep a given in there to get some experience. I think I actually might have spent a hundred influence to get resources out of the western sector. I think I got about six or seven thousand minerals and a ton of energy. I'm gonna spend that energy shortly on actually getting uh, some more terraforming done uh, yeah so I'm gonna figure out where I want to do that uh, the other sectors I actually create an entirely new sector 
Uh, so that's the encampment sector, which has both of those within it, which uh, were taken in the last war I did. And they, uh, yeah, those two planets have the what you might call it, the exterminator machine type building that mm -hmm. gives extra bonuses, the war factory. So that's, mm -hmm. and I've also stuck a governor on there that gives a bonus to making armies. Mm -hmm. Uh, my existing armies, I think there's a couple of places which have rebellion issues, so I'm getting those back there. There's a scientist that I've given new directions to go and survey these new planets, which I'm going to be colonizing. I actually need to make uh, colony ships coming up. Uh, what else have I done? I could have maybe stopped one of my habitats being made to get minerals back, but I just about had enough to make everything I want so I'm making starports and almost everything apart from that one which I need to shortly. These worlds were actually really mm. uninhabited. I'm purging some and I've yeah put in a ton of infrastructure to be made on all of these. So I'm not sure what the Decron would do in actually because um, yeah they're really some of them are really rather sparsely populated but uh, yeah I'm gonna be getting all of those up uh, as soon as I can and I'm literally purging every Decron going there's only one left I'm gonna get rid of him as soon as I've made a new populace on there uh, right uh, there's no doubt something which I'm forgetting to mention because I did a heck of a lot but uh, yeah let's uh, get going again and let's uh, actually uh, find a place to terraform then right so let's terraform that uh, to a machine world Okay, excellent. Uh, let's get going again. So that was the peace terms, of course. Uh, right. Yeah, I'm going to be, as soon as I get some minerals back, I'll probably take a bit of time out in a year to make some more stuff. I should really, I think, be thinking about getting rid of my non-aggression with those guys just in case I want to declare war on them. Uh, coming up. Uh, how are we looking at on that though? I won't quite yet. I'm going to have a think about it. I probably should do it now though. Um, yeah. I didn't think it through before starting to record. So... Uh, Although I was System thinking about scan control. complete. Uh, right, survey's done. Right, good. So we're to. I think there's some stuff down here which I can go and survey. Right. Do that. I can make a spaceport here, so I should now. Maybe I shouldn't do missile bases on these as well, but I guess I'll stick with it. In the next cherry update, they're going to have... Well, you start with all the different weapon types, supposedly. And I think missiles are going to be completely different. They're going to change it again. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't think they're quite... They're much better than they used to be. I don't think they're quite working brilliantly yet, though. Okay, so I think, yeah, probably going to save up to about 10k, and then I'm going to take a minute out. Uh, when's the purge get done? Uh, right. 54.6. Okay. Right, looks like my troops must have gotten back, because uh, barely anything's gone. System surveyed. Excellent. Uh, let's let that continue. How's everyone's looking? Not too bad. So it's basically ten years until I can declare war on them. Incoming but... transmission. Oh wow. No demands have been enforced on the Decron. Wow. Uh, does that mean everyone's back to peace? Yes does. That is an absolute perfect result. Those guys could declare war on them again though. That's a big issue. Um, 
I'm gonna decline. I we already have a research green right now, don't we? Oh, that's a reason actually not to get rid of non-aggression, which I'd forgotten about. So I'm glad I didn't do it then. But I may do it coming up still. Right, defensive pacts. Right, so hopefully that doesn't go affecting things. Oh, I need some colony ships. So let's not forget about that. Um, right, let's start making. Oh, I can't make one there, but looks like a type of one. Um, or maybe I can. One there. One there. So I could definitely colonize that because I already own it. Definitely can't that's two. Three. Those two that will count as core, so maybe I'll wait on that. Uh, let's get uh that was made as well, okay. Definitely want to increase my fleet size as well. I think I've got them coming back to uh, repair somewhere. They're both in the right place. It's repaired there. And that one's taking a bit longer. Yeah, so everyone's at peace now. For the conclusion of. Uh, how I go about System winning surveyed. now. I think it's becoming much more likely I build up yet again and in this 10 years I think that's what I need to do. Colonize a bit more and build up and I think taking on the Flimoid is the way that I might uh, achieve mm -hmm. victory because they have about the right amount of planets that I actually need. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was mentioned in comments mm -hmm. and I definitely agree uh, with the person who mentioned I should go after them more than likely. But if I can go after one of these other three empires, I definitely will do also. Right. Blocker removed. Okay. Tile blocker, I think, is mentioned. Building online. Right, so what's that? Mm -hmm. Treaty has made a building. Fleet upgrades applied. Okay, excellent. Fleet is upgraded. I think that might went down a bit down for some reason. Uh, how are we doing on research? Dragon skill, armor coming in. Fleet is combined. You know what? Uh, I think I'll take a brief minute out. I'm sure there's something I can spend those minerals on. I need, definitely need to add in the old thing that I wasn't able to do here previously. And I want to purge that. So, yeah, I'm going to take a minute out to do some work on my economy. <laughs>